everyone. I am Nadine Elizabeth Lange. I'm Lindy Pabrigon. And we are here to present our design project entitled Automated System, System for Beach Factory Operations. Chapter 1, Introduction. Automated System for Beach Factory Operations is designed for instant hatchery. This system will automatically and manually change the water in the town. It will also be used to feed and harvest the fish. People will be used to set the date and time. Using real-time clock, the system will determine the dates when the changing of water, feeding, and transferring of fish should be done. Loads which will be used to detect the water level in the pump. In opening the pipe chute that is connected to the harvesting pump, servo will be used. Releasing water will be used to spread the fish. Every time the system will drain and refill the tank, the LCD will notify the user that the change. General objective of this study is to design and develop an automated system for fish hatchery operations. Specifically, the study aims to first design the circuitry of the system using water pump that will reduce the labor involved in operating pumping machine only. Second, develop a project that will automate the hatchery operations, the water changing, feeding, and harvesting. Third, develop a project that will transfer fish to the harvesting tank automatically. Fourth, Evaluate the system in terms of reliability, functionality, ease of use, and safety. The developers believe that the project will benefit the family. First, hatchery starts. This project will lessen the work at hatchery and improve the process in changing water in the tank. It will help the hatchery stops to minimize the work and save more time. It can be used to monitor the water level. Scope and limitations. This project was designed to provide an automated system for fish hatchery operations. This system automatically changes the water in the tank, feeds, and transfer the fish to the harvesting tank. It uses, it uses water pump to release water, written tank or TC, to determine the date and time of the water changing. Feeding and harvesting TC water was used to spread the feeds in the tank. Keep, keep pad was used to input the date and time. And to start system, load switch sensor was used to detect the water level. Servo was used to open and close the PD supply. Light dependent resistor or LDR was used to determine the amount of feeds in the storage box. The water filter is still manual. Chapter 2 Review of Related Literature and Studies. This chapter presents the review of literature and studies which are connected and relevant to the development of an automated system for fish hatchery operations and the different technology used by the researchers. Related literature Water pump is a device that moves fluids or sometimes is released by mechanical action. Electric water pump depends on electricity for its power source and converts the electric energy into mechanical to provide required pressure to the water. According to the Book of Pan and Aquarium, Water Pump Instructional Manual by Brett Owen 2017, Electric Water Pump Pumps Complete with a Generous Supply. Foreign Studies In the study of Automatic Water Pump Controller or AWPC, the water pump is used for residential water supply. Three water level sensors monitor the water level of both the ground level water reservoir and the rooftop residential water tank. This research paper, Automatic Water Flow Meter 2013 by Ria Sud, Manit Kaur, Human Klinka, gave emphasis on the need of water level controller in irrigation in agriculture. Local studies. This research is focused about the automation of water management and maintenance for cold water in aquarium. By Carl Jasper Cruz, 
Arian Hyra, Patrick Sorizo, Dr. Neil Balba in 2018. The researchers integrated different sensors in order to build a water management system for an aquarium. One of the sensors that the researchers use is the water level sensor for identifying if the water level in the aquarium that is being filled by the water pump. Technology use. In order to build the automated system for fish hatchery operations, the following technologies were used by the developers. The water pump can be defined as a pump which uses the principles like mechanical as well as hydraulic throughout a piping system and to make sufficient force for its future use. The building clock or RTC is a computer clock that keeps track of the of the current time, RTC is used to provide precise time and date which can be used for various applications. Conceptual Framework This section will serve as a guide in the development of an automated system for fish hatchery operations. Figure 1 The Existing Fish Hatchery Operations This figure shows the process of the existing fish hatchery operation system. It is manually operated. The fish hatchery operation system uses the traditional way of changing water in the hatchery tank, feeding fish and harvesting it where the water pump is manually open and closed, and the opening of the pipe through the harvesting tank is manual. Figure 2 shows the system will simplify the task. The user will not manually open the water pump. Using RTC, the system will know when it will be open. After the release of water, the proximity sensor will detect the water level in the tank. If the water reaches the accurate level, the water pump will automatically close. After the tank was full of water, the sensor will open and the blower, the blower will be turned on. The fishes are ready to be harvested and transferred to the harvesting tank when the desired date and time has been met. process and output of the systems. It shows the input which includes fish to knowledge and hardware requirements in Arduino, water pump, keypad, liquid crystal display or LCD, real-time clock or RPC, float switch, DC motors, servo, light-dependent resistor or LDR, light-emitting diode or light-emitting diode or LED, relays, and other electronic components. Software requirement is the Arduino IDE. Process includes the following. Problem identification, research, requirement specifications, concept generalization, design, prototype, and construction, system integration, system test, and the output is the automated system for fish hatchery operations. Chapter 3 Methodology This chapter describes all the details involved in the creation of this project. It will explain the hardware and software to be used and also methods and procedures to achieve the objectives of the project to develop an automated system for fish hatchery operations. Research Gathering Data The researchers gather data from different literatures and studies, reading books, and surfing the internet with the studies and technologies which are related to the project. Give ideas in developing the project. Requirements and specification In order to create the automated system for field hatchery operations, different electronics components, part specifications, and scientific functions of some parts of the system were used. 
parts and components. Electronic components were used by the researchers to create this project. Some of these components are Arduino, water pump, float switch, light dependent resistor, light emitting diode, keypad, real time clock, liquid crystal display, DC motor, and servo. Generalization. The researchers collected and generated ideas based on the different studies, concepts, and spe specifications required during the implementation. Using water pump, rectangle clock, DC motors, and servo arm, they were concept that researchers considered. Nowadays, electric water pump is widely used to release and supply water pump. Real-time clock is used to indicate the exact date and time. DC motors and servo are widely used in projects like robots. Design phase. The researchers analyzed and studied the gathered data, the prospective appearance, availability, and cost of materials. Accuracy and reliability of the project were taken into consideration in developing the automated system for fish hatchery operations. Front view of automated system for fish hatchery operations. Figure 5 shows the front view of the project. Shows the pit's storage box where the pits are stored. Component box, the fish storage, water storage tank, the pipes for draining water and transferring fish. Water pump, which is used to supply water from water storage tank to fish storage tank, and the blower, which is used to spread the feeds pipe. Shows the left angle of the project. The component box, which is metal controller. Relays, RTC, keypad, and LCD are placed. The 12, the 12 volts power supply, which is used to supply the whole system. Mechanical section. This section covers the assembling of the project along with its different parts. This includes the main controller unit and the power supply unit of the project. The main controller unit is the Arduino Mega 2560. For the power supply unit are the AC power and 12 volts battery. The power supply unit or PSU. The power supply unit used in the project is a rechargeable battery. This is used to supply power to the whole, to the whole project. While voltage regulator is used to supply a steady output was in the circuit. It supplies the Arduino, water pump, real-time clock, water level sensor, Liquid crystal display or LCD, LED dependent resistor or LDR, keypad, DC motor, servo, and relay modules. Microcontroller unit or MSU are the Figure 7, flow chart of automated system for fish hatchery operations. It shows the flow chart of the project. When the project is switched on, the LDR will start detecting the amount of feeds. Press the keypad to add water, set date and time. Water pump will turn on and when the top sensor detects the water, the water pump will turn off. The LCD will display finish adding. Press the keypad to drain water, set date and time. The servo will open and when the bottom sensor detects water, the servo will close. The LCD will display finish draining. Press the keypad to feed fish, set date and time. The servo will open and the blower will turn on. After the feeding is done, the LCD will display finish feeding. Press keypad to harvest fish. Set date and time. The servo will open after the transferring is done. The servo will close and the LCD will display finish harvesting. Figure 8 Schematic Diagram of Automated System for Fish Hatchery Operations Arduino Mega is used as the brain of the system. Keypad is connected to the digital pin 3 to 10. LCD is connected to SCL and STA of the Arduino. The four float switches are connected to analog pin 0 to 3. 
The two servos are connected to analog pin 4 and 5. The three LDR are connected to analog pin 6 to 8. LEDs are connected to analog pin 11 to 13. The negative pin of water is connected to the common of relay and the positive pin is connected to the positive of power supply. Relay is connected to digital pin 12. DC motor is connected to digital pin 11. Figure 9, the block diagram of the system. Figure 9 shows the different inputs and outputs of the automated system for fish hatchery operations. Real-time clock, load switch, light-dependent resistor, keypad, and power supply are the inputs. They send signal to the microcontroller. Water pump, LCD, LED, servo, and motors will function once the commands are processed. Water pump will fill the tank with water. Servo will open the PVC pipe which are connected to the drainage and the other servo is in change of the harvesting tank. DC motor is used as blower to spread the feeds widely. LCD will display the process and the instructions. LEDs are used as indicator. Prototyping and construction phase. This stage refers to how the project was constructed. First, the perspective view of the design of the whole project was sketched sketch on Google SketchUp 2019. It includes the design of the wirings, identification and specification of different components that were used in the project and were examined systematically to avoid failure. After acquiring all the components needed, the connection was identified to a circuit design. The casing of the components was constructed and the components were sold, soldered to the PCB according to their circuit design. System integration. To develop the automated system for fish hatchery operations, all materials and components needed were brought together. The design of the whole project is the combination of different components such as power source, 12 volts battery, microcontroller unit, water level sensor, light dependent resistor or LDR, light emitting diode or LED, keypad, real time clock RTC, water pump, switch, relays, and DC motors and servos. System testing. The device was tested in order to evaluate its performance and outcome. The connections and components were tested using analog multi-tester to ensure their functionality. Research, video tutor tutorial, related studies, and seeking help from different professionals were a big help to develop the project. Evaluation. The project was evaluated by 30 respondents consisting of 10 students, including the BSCPE and BSFI, 20 faculty and staff, based on the criteria safety. It was rated in the scale of 5 for excellent, 4 for very good, 3 for good, and 2 for fair, and 1 for poor to determine its quality. Design and development, testing, and analysis of results. Figures and diagrams related to the development of the project were included in this chapter. Electronic and mechanical assembly, testing and troubleshooting, and other applications were also involved. Evaluation of existing methods, different methods and techniques were studied for the development of the design project. Existing methods had contributed to the concept and development of automated system for fish hatchery operations. The techniques and methods used and performed by the researchers took part on the actualization of the project. Design consideration. Some considerations were involved in the development of the project such as the material used, the cost, the importance, and the availability in the market, the time, reliability, functionality, safety, and the ease of use were also put in Electronic assembly, micro microcontroller unit and its wiring, relay module, Arduino Mega and LCD. Mechanical assembly, it is where the casing of the automated system for fish hatchery operations was constructed. Different sections of the system were assembled. The battery, keypad, LCD, servo, water pump, DC motor, 
float switch, servo LCD, and LED. Hardware and software process. The system involves hardware and software operation. There are four operations in using the system. First is the adding of water using keypad. The user will include time and date adding of water. After setting the time and date, the water pump will turn on and add water. The second operation is the draining of water. Keypad is also used in this operation to set the date and time. The servo will open to drain water. The third operation is the feeding. The servo will open and the blower the blower will turn on. The last operation is the transferring of fish. In this process, the servo is used to open the hole that is connected to the harvesting tank. Fabrications of mechanical parts, electronic control, wirings were all fixed and bound together using the perforated cord. Connections of each device were done separately to be easily identified. The positions of the components were arranged well to avoid confusion. Thin plate was used for the casing to prevent and keep the components secure. Simulation, testing and troubleshooting. Testing activities were done during the designing of circuit of the automated system for fish hatchery operations. To secure that project was operating properly and designed. Using both ometer, testing was done each part to check its condition. Regarding the program code of the hardware and software application, tri trial and error was performed to solve the errors and problems. Surfing the internet was also done to find some information, tutorials, and refer references. Project testing. The project was tested many times to ensure that it is functional and fully operational. Different functions of the system were tested to make sure that each command was followed accurately. Table 2 Summary and Results of Evaluation Out of 30 respondents, in terms of reliability, 23 of them rated the project as excellent and the remaining rated is as very good with a total mean of 4.8. In terms of functionality, 25 of the respondents rated the project as excellent, 5 as very good and with a total mean of 4.8. In terms of ease of use, 26 of the respondents rated the project as excellent, 4 as very good and in terms of safety, 27 out of 30 respondents rated automated system for fish hatchery operations as excellent and 3 with a total mean of 4.9. Overall, the weighted mean gained of 4.85 described excellent. Summary of findings, conclusions, and recommendations. This chapter contains summary of findings and conclusions generated from the study. Recommendations thrown by the proponents were also given. Summary of findings Automated system for fish hatchery operations was designed to process hatchery operations. The developers learned to use alternatives and appropriate materials in building the design. However, the silent findings of the study are as follows. The water level sensor probably should be easy to use and accurate. The developers use float switch to detect water level accurately and it is easy to use. The power supply to be used should be high ampere. The developers use 12 volt and 22 ampere of battery. If the ampere is not high, there is a tendency that the water pump will not function. The circuit rig must be fully attached with each other, especially the sensors. If not, there is possibility that the hardware of components will not function well. Calibration, testing and proper checking of each components. The material must be considered to check compatibility and safety so as maintenance was also considered. Conclusions Based on the summary and findings and evaluation of the project, the following conclusions were drawn. First is the automated system for fish hatchery operations was 
design using water pump to reduce the labor involved in pumping machine manually. The system was developed to replace manual or traditional hatchery operations, the water changing, feeding, and harvesting. The third is the system was developed to automate the transferring of fish to the harvesting tank. The last one is the machine was evaluated as functional, reliable, safe, and easy. Recommendations Based from the foregoing conclusions, the following recommendations to further improve the study are offered. So first, water level sensor should be used to get the water level accurately. Higher voltage than 12 volts or DC motor should be used to spread the feeds widely. 3. It is suggested to use larger LCD to view text clearly. Hatchery that needs a machine for automatic water change, feeding, and harvesting is encouraged to utilize the design project. 5. The future where developers can use this study as reference in conducting similar studies. These are the parts of the automated system for fish hatchery operations. This is the DPDT switch, which is used to turn in off the system. This is the keypad, which is used to input date and time. The LCD, which displays the processes and outputs of the system. Button, to stop manually the increasing and decreasing of the water level. 12 volts battery, which is used to supply the whole system. This pipe is used to drain water. Servo is used to open and close it. This pipe is used to transfer fish to the harvesting tank. Servo is also used to open and close it. The float switch is used to detect the water level. This is the electronic water pump which is used to transfer water from water storage tank to fish storage tank. This is the servo which is used to control the flow of the feeds. This is the DC motor which is used to spread out the feeds widely. These are the LEDs which are used to indicate the amount of feeds in the feed storage. Turn on the switch to run the system. This is the instruction to be followed. Press A to fill the tank with water automatically. Set the date and time. Year 2020, month 07, day 23, hour 16, minutes 10. The time should be used is military time. The water pump will be turned on. When the top sensor detects the water, the water pump will stop and the LCD will display finish feeding. Press B to increase water level manually. Adding 50% of water. Press B to increase water level manually. Press stop button to manually stop the increasing of water level. Press C to drain water automatically. Set date and time. Year 2020 Month 07 Day 23, hour 16, minutes 17, auto drain is already set. Even the project gets shut down, all the data that you've set will be saved.
the servo will open. When the bottom sensor detects water, CD will display finish training. Press D to decrease water level manually. Press stop button to stop the decreasing of water manually. Press D to decrease water level manually. Decreasing water on process. When the bottom sensor detects water, the servo will close. Drain. Press number sign to feed fish automatically. Set date and time. Year 2020. Month 07. Year 23. Hour 16. Minutes 20. Auto feed is already set. The servo will open. Feeding on process. The LCD will display finish feeding. Press asterisk to transfer fish automatically. Set date and time. Year 2020. Month 07, day 23, hour 16, minutes 22. Transfer is already set. Transferring on process. The servo will close. The CD will display finish transferring. In feed storage box, LED is used to determine the amount of feeds. White for low, yellow for medium, red for high. Turn off switch to stop the system. 